so to today we are going to grind ourselves some elemental earth uh, actually not elemental earth um i think it is elemental earth i'm sorry but it's selling for about four gold a piece in the auction house so i really need to get some of gold so i can get my skull flame shield which i want to do some aoe grinding for other gold and other items um, to help equip my other characters um, so here we are. We are in uh, Silithus, and we are in the far north um, west section, which, as you can see, is, is just ripe with <coughs> desert ramblers. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to kill these guys. It's too bad. Earlier, I actually, the uh, Thunder Fury... Quest raid boss was here. Um, some guy had summoned him during doing his quest chain. I don't think he's here anymore. No, it doesn't look like it. It's too bad. It's kind of fun. It would have been fun to show you guys uh, that raid boss. And here you can see I actually just looted an elemental earth, which is now selling for about four gold in the auction house. So I'm going to try to make myself some money because I've only got uh, 60 gold right now. But I've got about 30 gold. Some of the characters, Skull Flame Shield's been going from 160 to 200 gold. Um, I'm going to hope to find one that's around 160 and see if I can haggle the guy down a little bit. Which is always a good idea to do if you don't have a lot of money. You might as well give it a shot. Some players might haggle with you. So if, he, if he's there with like a buyout of like 145, I think he had, I'll just offer him 140. And say I'll give you 140 gold right now for it. Something like that. And a lot of times you can just get people to, uh, to help you out. So it's time to, uh, as I like to say, plant my seed <laughs> with my evergreen pouch. So as soon as this guy drops, we'll do that. And he will here in about one second. Bingo. So two hours of evergreen. These potions, like the Luster Stone Shield potion and some of the elixirs of the giants, different potions like that I get from just turning in the repeatable quest. So this guy up, yeah, Grom's Blood, which isn't what... It, Oh, actually, I do need that for another quest, um, which is, I think, oops, I'm sorry, here. Yeah. This one, the love potion's all the way in forward. But let's go ahead and get our, some of our buffs going here. Yeah, that's up, that's up. Um. I'm always playing with my buffs, trying to figure out what works best. And what I found with these melee guys, and since I'm, they're not close enough together to really pull multiple ones too much, um, what I'm doing is I'm judging with light, and I'm just throwing up Crusader. And then I'm just throwing in a uh, Holy Shield crouching to get the crit. And that's pretty much it. And I just do Holy Shield crouch to get crit until the muck was down. So what you want to do is you see that you want to watch for your block being up. If it's not up, you can crouch to force redoubt. And then we'll just sit here. I don't even bother using Consecrate because it just uses so much mana. And against one target, it's just, just totally not worth it. And then also I have my Nomish Death Ray. So if I've got a mob down around 40% health, if my Nomish Death Ray is up, I'll just go ahead and use that. It's a pretty short cooldown. Okay. And then as soon as my... Uh, as soon as uh, this is ready, my crystal spire, I'll stack that on top of my other crystal board. Those are stackable. There's just a two-minute cooldown. Can't put them both on one after the other. I will say that I got double blue drops today, which I've never... I've played World of Warcraft for ever since it came out in 2004. And never have I ever looted out in the world, not counting instances, out in the world. Killed a regular mob, had him drop a blue item, then killed in the very next mob I killed. He also dropped a blue item. And that happened to me today. I actually was killing raptors, and I killed about... I killed about, I don't know, six of them. I was just looting them. I looted one, and it was uh, Skibby's Pendant, which sells for around 34 gold. And then the very next mob I looted was the Axe of uh, Rin Rinji. Uh, or R -N -R I don't know how you want to pronounce that. R-I-N apostrophe J-I. So that was kind of fun. That was kind of exciting. I was like, holy shit. You know, don't usually expect to get two blues one after the other. So that was kind of fun. I don't use um, hammer because it just consumes way too much mana. 
It's like I can wait another couple seconds. So this is, you know, killing these is not super fast, but I'm getting, I still have some rest time. So I'm still getting 692 XP per kill, which is quite a bit. And I should be able to get to 58. You know, just killing these guys. And as you can see, let me zoom my camera out. And as I spin the camera around, you can see there's a lot of these guys. A lot of these rock guys. They're all over the place. These elementals. Desert ramblers. So, and I, I don't want to jinx myself, but there hasn't been too much PvP going on right here. Um, hold on a second. I'm going to hammer stun him, then use uh, Nomus Death Ray. Because the hammer only uses like 50 mana. It's very little mana to cast Hammer of Justice. And just stunning him before I do the Death Ray makes the Death Ray go off a lot faster. I also don't take as much damage. So it's just it's just a little bit more efficient. There's ele um, air elementals around here, quite a bit of them. This guy's been bugged. <laughs> Let's see if he's still bugged. Last time I got it to him, his health dropped to one, and he, I couldn't hit him. Okay, well, he's not bugged anymore. Let's go ahead and pull this guy. Luckily, I'm low enough level that I have a pretty big aggro range, so I don't have to get quite as close to these guys as I would in mobs that are bugged beneath my level. Now, since I got two mobs, I'll go ahead and throw them one Consecrate. Now we do have some horde coming. Hopefully they're not going to gank me. I've been lucky and I had to deal with that too much today. All my buffs look pretty good. Just grinding these guys for the earth, elemental earth. <laughs> I really want to get that skull flame shield. My friend Zalson's got about 150 gold in his character. And he said if I can get close enough, he'll probably just loan me some gold so I can get it. Since I have no mana, I'm gonna go ahead and throw up Wisdom. I just wanna get my uh, Seal of the Crusader up as fast as possible. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a Holy Shield here in a second. Now I'm just going to auto-attack, lean back, and take a break. <laughs> See, he's going down. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and get some mana. I just wanted to do a short video. I'm not going to stay on here very long because I'm just tired. and I don't want to put up a video that's me just being tired. Um, but I wanted to show you guys this is a really good spot to farm. For Elemental Earth, uh, I do like Silithus. I've always enjoyed Silithus. I think it's one of my favorite zones. I don't know why. I think the quests, you know, getting the Sandworm Mead, getting the Elemental Encrypted Twilight Texts, uh, you know, really farming uh, a lot of the the humanoids here. You know, get I've gotten quite a few good drops off of them, and it's fun. There's a lot of a lot of people out here. It's just a fun zone. So I'm just going to pull. Let's see if I can get a couple here. There's one here, but I don't see another one close enough. Nope. Hope these horde don't kill me. I'm just a weak prop pally. <laughs> I dueled a 60 warrior earlier today, and... Uh, I would have beat him, but I had screwed. I was just kind of playing around with him, and I threw up a, you know, hammer of justice and stunned him early in the combat. Near the end of the combat, he threw up, of course, with all his crazy abilities. And and when I had my hammer of wrath up to kill him, he was able to interrupt me. And if I would have just saved my my hammer of justice until later when I got him under twenty percent, just hammered him and then hammer wrath him, I would have won. 
but he was level 60 and had pretty good gear and he was like holy crap he's like you take a lot of damage <laughs> and i was like yeah i do I was tanking up like about uh, seven raptors, and I think I killed all seven and still, they were like 50, level 50. Killed all seven, and, they, and I still had like 80% health. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of crazy. wasn't killing these guys fast. I didn't have Crusader up. Jesus. Alright, I'm going to end the video here. But just, you know, you guys, this is, a, again, a decent place. Um, actually, a very good place to grind for this stuff. Uh, it's too bad I, I did get a screenshot of the, the quest mob for... <clears throat> for getting the... Uh, Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of the Windseeker. The raid boss was up earlier, but unfortunately, he either despawned. I'm assuming he despawned. I don't think anybody killed him. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Check, check you guys later.